for joining me here at the Worthington Diamond Mine. I'm Glenn Worthington. I'm literally the guy who wrote the book on diamonds in Arkansas because nobody could illiterately write a book on any subject. Anyway, we are looking at freshly exposed lamparite at our mine. Now, this was all one solid rock until the excavator got in here and began to peel it back. But although it's a solid rock, it is fractured. Do you see these vertical fracture lines in here? Now, in May, uh, Dr. Kenneth Beefus from Baylor University in Waco, Texas, came in here and looked at our deposit. And I talked to him about these fracture lines. And if you put this protractor on here, it's not 90 degrees, it's not straight up and down, it's about 80 degrees, which is only 10 degrees off of perfectly perpendicular. Very steep fracture lines. And what he explained to me, because he is an expert on igneous intrusions and I am just an old prospector and miner, he said that these fracture lines run parallel with the side of the intrusion. In other words, if if these fracture lines were on a 45 degree, the side of our intrusion would be about 45 degrees, kind of like a funnel. This is 80 degrees, which is more like a carrot. So it's more up and down. And the good news about that is our contact zone, the edge of our intrusion is right over here. And because it goes almost perfectly straight up and down, because it's on an 80 degree angle, that means we have more ore at this deposit. If it had gone at a 45 degree angle, you'd have less ore. You understand what I'm talking about? Well, anyhow, I'm excited. We got a lot more we can mine and find diamonds in. Um, these fracture lines, it's just real easy to peel that off. I can just do it with my fingers now. But before we dug this, this was a solid, solid rock. But the uh, excavator got in here and uh, dug some away and it allows it to kind of ease back off of that fracture line and see this uh, black it comes from a, a iron and manganese layer up here and it leaches down through seeps down through these fracture lines these vertical cracks and it just stains the outside now when you get up above it's a solid piece of black but when you get down below, the black is only on the faces of these fracture lines. It's fascinating stuff to me. Anyway, nobody has ever sampled this for diamond content. Nobody knows if there's a diamond in that piece or how many diamonds or how big or is it white or clear, yellow or brown. So all this is unsampled, unsearched, virgin ore. Nobody's ever been in here. If you go to the nearby crater of diamonds, been mining there for more than a hundred years. This used to have a forest sitting on top of it. We had the trees clear cut. We got a bulldozer in here, removed the overburden. We got an excavator in here and dug it. And this is the first time anybody, any human has ever seen what was in there. Uh, it's virgin material. It's a nice brescia, which means it's got angular clasps in there. I see some uh, red uh, clay in there, Trinity clay. Uh, it's red and green, uh, green and it's an angular clasp and that's good because that works like ice cubes to help cool the magma quickly and that's what you need so that your diamonds will not resorb away to just CO2 gas. It helps uh, preserve them into a diamond crystal that hardens so that we can find it later. Yeah, there, there was a big chunk of Brescia there, an angular clasp. And anyway, this is just pretty cool stuff. I could just play all day, but I got work to do. And uh, let me take and show you some of that work. Uh, first, I'll swing you around and show you. Here is the side of the intrusion. On the right there, you can see the green and red Trinity clay. On the left, you can see the brown igneous lamparite, uh, the diamondiferous lamparite. And that's the contact zone. The edge of the funnel or the edge of the carrot is right here. And like I'm saying, it it's about an 80 degree intrusion here. So there's a lot, a lot of ore. And these 
these fracture lines continue right on over here. This is just pretty neat looking stuff. Well, I set the excavator up here on top and reached over the side and grabbed that ore and I swung around and I dropped it and created this pile of freshly unearthed lamprite that no one has ever searched through for diamond content yet. Well, what we've been doing is bringing a skid steer up here and scoop it in to this pile and he, he just scoops us up and takes it to our diamond recovery plant that's about oh a thousand feet from here and we run this virgin ore through our diamond recovery plant and uh, get the diamonds out of it but one thing we're doing is and i'll swing this around so you can kind of see uh, we have offered this virgin diamond ore i know it's crooked the ground's just not uh level here somebody's been digging and piling stuff but uh, i want to give you a good angle here i'll try to fix it a little bit but anyway so here's the situation we we started offering boxes of our unsearched diamond ore uh, for 40 dollars a box for a large flat rate box and it some people might say, uh, well, why is he doing that? Well, other people would say, well, it's obvious why he's doing that. It's all for the money. Well, actually, not a whole lot of money in this. And there is some hot work. It's hot out here today. Uh, I'm scooping this ore. If, if I wasn't filling this order, box order today, we would load it into our uh, skid steer, take it up, dump it into our diamond recovery plant, and we would be recovering the diamonds. So... Uh, people who order a box get the same opportunity to find a diamond as, as I do. So, um, you think, oh, $40 a box, that's a killing. Well, actually, that includes the postage to get it to your house anywhere in the USA. And the postage on this is 19 and a quarter. So there's almost half of that $40 already. And of course, before I get any of the money, this is purchased through a PayPal account, and PayPal wants a dollar seventy-six per box. You know, in other words, out of every forty bucks, they want a dollar seventy-six. So there goes some of my profit, and uh, what's left, you know, almost twenty bucks out of the forty bucks. And we had the expense of buying this ten acres and. Uh, <clears throat> paying for a bulldozer to remove the overburden and an excavator to dig this up so that we could shovel virgin ore into these boxes. Uh, three of these boxes are going to Jeremy Jones. Um, anyway, the other expense that we have, tape. We go through a lot of tape because we want to make it sturdy so you know the boxes don't fall apart. We also line the boxes with uh, a heavy plastic bag that we buy and then we paid to have this card printed up that explains what you could find in the box and then we throw in a business card we also throw in about a tablespoon of heavies so when this is the only searched material in the entire box the rest of it is unsearched I dug it up I shovel it in I don't pick anything out uh, what you get is the same chance of finding something as we would if we were to run it through the diamond recovery plant instead of shoveling it into the box. But when we do run our diamond recovery plant, what it does is it gets rid of all the light material and it retains the heavy material, the concentrates, the dense minerals. And among the dense minerals you can find uh, opaque, black, lustrous, uh, chromium spinel, uh, blood red pyrope garnet, G9s and G10s. Some of the garnets are purplish, but most are red. You also get grass green chromium diopside. Those are your three main diamond indicator minerals that came up from the diamond stability zone 100 kilometers deep, or 100 miles deep, um, along with the diamonds. So uh, 
we already searched it through this for diamonds or my wife did if she missed any that's your diamond to keep otherwise you can just look through and kind of see if you find any of those diamond indicators in this she doesn't pick them out um, I said just leave them in because people like to find garnet spinel and dopside so anyway that's what you got and really for 40 bucks uh, it's a pretty good deal delivered to your door uh, no no tax no shipping fee in addition to that I'll, I'll pay the shipping but if you're interested order a box if not fine if you're skeptical don't do it <laughs> I'll just wash the stuff myself uh, but I was just thinking you know if somebody else had a, a diamond mine and the ore had never been searched through before I would want some of that to look through and I thought well the crater of diamonds won't mail out any of their ore you have to buy a bag through the gift shop um, I, I'm the only one that offers unsearched diamond ore from the USA so if you want a box mailed to your house 40 bucks for the large $30 for the medium size a uh, little it, it, the 30 dollar ones are about 22 pounds the large are about are $40 and they're about 31 pounds so $30 22 pounds $40 31 pounds roughly I put as much in the box as I can get so you can get the best value but anyway if you're interested try it if not you know whatever let me explain one other thing so the excavator dug it and turned some of that volcanic rock it looks like dust so you think, oh, I'm just buying a box of dirt. I've been scammed. No, it's volcanic rock, and that part of the volcanic rock has been crumbled. What you can do is crumble the rest because there could be a diamond trapped inside of that, and you can release the diamond. So uh, if you get any, you probably will, uh, chunks like this, well, wash it through a set of screens like you normally would in the crater. When you get big chunks like that, throw that in a five-gallon bucket and take a two-before and just jab up and down on it, and it'll bust apart. You saw I, I busted that one by hand. So anyway, after you bust it apart, then run that through your screens and look through it just like you would at the crater. Sort it according to size, quarter inch, eighth inch, window screen like sixteenth inch. Run it through a saruga, concentrate your heavies, look through the heavies for diamonds. A diamond I really do and if you do let me know about it I like to hear um, anyway if you're interested order a box if you're skeptical don't if you do order a box and you find a diamond please let me know about it it just makes me happy to know you found a diamond thanks for checking out the Worthington diamond mine today